Hello and welcome to Overdrive. This is Rohit Paratkar. I'm at the 2020 Auto Expo at the Mercedes-Benz exhibit. With me is the new GLA. This is the second generation of the GLA compact SUV that has been doing big numbers for the brand, not just in India, but worldwide. And this one's now coming to India very soon. Let's take a closer look. Let me tell you what to expect and what is different in this car compared to the GLA that we've been buying in India so far. So like I mentioned, this is the second generation model. Sleeker stance looks larger. It's got a drag coefficient of 0.28 and that is one of the big talking points for this car. So compared to the previous GLA, which literally looked like an A-Class that was slightly jacked up. I won't even call it on stills. It literally looked like an A-Class that was slightly jacked up. This one looks like a scaled down GLC maybe. That silhouette looks good, the side profile looks good, it looks more proportionate now, looks more SUV-ish in that sense. It is still a crossover, it is still a soft roader. It gets 4MATIC as standard and the design is in line with what we've seen on the new GLE, the GLC, the GLS, all of that. Especially the detailing that you see in the tail lights, on the headlights. It's very similar to what we've seen on the newer generation of SUVs and crossovers from Mercedes-Benz. Like I said, this vehicle is now larger than the outgoing GLA, which means it's also roomier on the inside. So let's get into the front seat and look at how the cabin feels. So this is an all black cabin here and still it looks quite good. So what you have is two screens, something similar to what we saw in the A-Class limousine, red stitching on the steering, Flat bottom steering, looks quite sporty. Tons of storage spaces. The turbine shaped winds, something that we saw on the CLS, the new CLA, the A-Class sedan, all of that. Sporty metal pedals. And just look at the grab handles on the door. They look nice and chunky. Again, adding to the rugged effect that you want from an SUV. Going into the back, let's do it from the other side. This is what it looks like. Space is definitely roomier even visually. You also get a split panoramic roof. You get rear AC vents that look quite nice. And let's also take a look at the boot. It's a fairly generous boot, nicely designed. The loading lip is quite low as well. It's got a power tailgate. There will be a space saver wheel in here, of course. And now talking about the specifications for India, well, they haven't revealed them yet, but like the A-Class Limousine, even the GLA will come with three engine options at launch. There will be the GLA 220D, which you already see here. There'll be a GLA 250 Petrol, and there'll be a GLA 35 AMG. So the AMG they don't have on display right now. The A-Class sedan uh, came here in the AMG Avatar and the GLA has come here in the 220D Avatar which will be the more popular variant from the lineup. Like I said, it's grown larger, there are more features and another interesting bit is this little fellow right here, a front-facing camera. So there will be, uh, there'll be a lot of uh, telematics, there'll be a lot of uh, radar guided tech that will be available on the GLA worldwide and some of that is also coming to India. Now the forward facing camera for one uh, is going to enable the, the 3D maps on, uh, on the MBUX system which means that you arrive at an intersection and it uses uh, 3D projection uh, of the arrows or the navigation data onto a real world image that is drawn from the front facing camera. It, it's, it's a really cool feature. Uh, do check out the GLE review that we've done, uh, the global spec GLE review that we've done in the US uh, on the new GLE, which is also here, by the way. Uh, so do check out that review to see how that mapping software works. And that is coming to the GLA, which which is a tiny feature, but a feel -good, the feel-good factor of it is really nice. Uh, the MBUX uh, is coming with the, in full force on the GLA, so you'll get all the features uh, that are offered on the MBUX internationally. Most of them will come to the Indian model as well. It may be restricted only to the AMG since that's going to come in as a CBU. So it could be restricted only to the AMG, but yes, you will be able to take advantage of the full feature set of the MBUX. 
Also, in terms of the safety systems, I do not have uh, a list of the safety systems that will be available for India. But like I said, there will be some radar guided tech. There will be the active braking assist, which will autonomously brake in case you are not paying attention and there is a pedestrian in front of you or maybe even a traffic jam situation and you're not paying attention. If the car thinks that there is going to be a collision, it will brake on its own from speeds of 7 kilometers an hour up to 200 kilometers an hour. So that's one very big safety feature to have even in a country like India and that's something that is uh, worth looking forward to. Uh, there will be other safety systems also that is being finalized right now. In fact, uh, what safety systems come to India is being finalized. So is the car too far away? Not really. It will begin uh, or other let's say the bookings have opened just like the A-Class sedan. So the bookings have opened and the launch will happen or deliveries will begin sometime around June, July. That's around the same time when the A-Class limousine also starts delivering in India. The pricing expected to start at rupees 43 lakh, which I think is very competitive. This, as always, takes on the likes of the BMW X1, the Volvo XC40. And I think this is a very good proposition, a very competitive price tag for the GLA. Do let us know in the comment section what is it that you would like to know more from the Auto Expo and we'll try to cover that for you. If you have any queries about this car or the A-Class limousine that's standing next to it, let me know. Put it in the comment section and I'll try to answer them as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching. This was Rohit Paradkar for Overdrive.